Hey guys, here for another video, another Airsoft video. Um, right here, I got the M4A1 by, well, you can get them by Panther Arms or by Colt. Mine's by Colt right here. Same model, they both are Cyber Gun brands. Um, it's very good. It's the ETM4 Field Duty Kit. Got this Forco grip. It's red dot sight, which I will turn on and show you. Right there, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a red dot sight. You got your iron sight, which you can switch from long range to short range. Either one. You can adjust anything on this gun, you can adjust. Even hop up anything. Hop up is okay right here, you just have to pull this mechanism. Right there, you can adjust any anything about how the bullet comes out of the barrel. Um, what's metal on this thing is bolt trigger, um, iron sight. Um, what's plastic is like, well the metal, the barrel inside here is metal, but what's plastic is this whole thing, the whole, whatever you see here is plastic. Um, and you can adjust it from semi, safe, and full auto. I usually use semi because I'm still kind of low on BBs, I need to get more BBs. And plus you got your 300 high cap mag. Uh, there's a hundred in here, you just turn the screw down there, just turn the thing there, and uh, BBs from this compartment will go in there, and you just put it in, fire away. Well, how this thing works, it's a spin-up mechanism, it uh, operates on spin-up, like that. See? It's, um, battery location right here in the holster. Holster is very hard plastic, very nice plastic. It doesn't feel like it will break or anything. Here. A little bit, but right here on the kind of barrel part, it feels very sturdy. Um, and there's something else. As you all know, it's a duty kit, right? So it has to come with a pistol. Right here. It has a laser on it. So, pull back the trigger, fire. Mag holds 14 BBs. Very standard for pistols. And like most pistols, you push back, you add safety on. And then you fire, like that. Um, what else? Which I kind of sucks about this gun. I get this gun right here, an 8 out of 10. The reason why I give it an 8 out of 10? Two reasons. And these more metal. And 500 BBs? This thing, will, this thing holds 300 in one, like, in one, like, um, clip. So, that'll go away pretty fast. And, um, I still have another 300 in the closet. Here's my old gun. The Swiss and Arms P230. It's loaded, I know. There we are. Right there, see? You saw that in many videos, actually. Let me put this BB back in. Kind of came out. Okay, should have never loaded it, but well. Whatever. That's all I have for you guys today. So, eventually, soon enough, we'll actually do the firing test of this amazing, amazing gun. Um, you can just, you can do anything with it. You can turn on any sight, the red dot sight, you just flip the switch. You can adjust the flip... You can adjust this, you can adjust this, you can adjust anything. See, you can take off any attachments you want, like foregrip right now. Slides off, easy to pull the thing on the bottom. Um, right here, you can take this off by unscrewing the screws. Same with the iron sight. I take off the iron sight sometimes, but it kind of like, makes it look like more of a M M4 type of look if you keep it on. Uh, also comes with the strap. I hardly use it, surprisingly, I keep it on the gun because it just makes it look more like a gun. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the shooting.